السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. What I'm going to demonstrate here is how the bank allocates uh, its uh, profit from financing, how it allocates to the various sources of the financing, and um, and then proceeds to share its profit with the investment account holders after deducting uh, the profit equalization reserve and the investment risk reserve. Now remember the profit equalization reserve is deducted from the profits uh, attributable to the investment account holders before the share of the bank or the Mudaraba Mudarib's profit is deducted uh, and the investment risk reserve is made from the balance after the profits of the Mudarib, i.e. the bank is deducted. All right. The first step is we will have to uh, allocate the 200 million here, which is actually the gross income from the total financing to these various sources of financing. So basically it is, a, a, we, we take a mathematical proportion. So the first thing we have to see is how much of this 200 million is actually coming from what are the actual amount which is used in investment to get this 200 million? So we are told that uh, equity out of the 100 million average balance, only 30% is used because the other parts could be used in investment in the fixed assets or the plant property and equipment. Whereas investment account holders, they just need a little bit for their liquidity purposes and most of the money would be invested. So here it is 80%. And the current account, uh, $1 million, because current account is very fluid, you need it for liquidity purposes. So a very little amount is invested for long-term purposes or financing. So it's only 20% here. So what we do is we use a formula to multiply the uh, average amount with the percentage invested to get the actual amount invested. So we do that here and then we just copy this formula and this is the actual amount invested actually. This is the actual amount invested, okay? The next step is now to allocate this 200 income to these various sources of income. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column here, make it a bit expanded, okay? Ex expand this column a bit, all right? And then what I'm going to do is we're going to allocate this 200 million over this this amount. So the first thing we do is we get the total amount. We just use the sum formula here. So the total actual average amount invested is 870 million. 870 million. So this 870 million of financing, sorry, of the source of financing leads to an income of 200 million. So how much does each of this source of financing earn from this 200 million? So what we do is we just take, okay, let's see the amount which is invested divided by the total amount which is invested multiplied by the total income and we get 6.89 million for uh, the equity. So I'm going to make a little bit of a, a modification to the formula here by using a round function. We are going to round it to two places. Okay. Uh, all right. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So I get to the nearest hundred thousand. So it's 6.9 million. All right. And what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, okay, now another before we copy this formula down, the G8 here, the total 870 has to remain constant. So I'm going to make this absolute by pressing F4. So now we have an absolute, okay. Uh, okay, sorry. So here F4, absolute, press enter. Okay, so now we have the G8 is absolute, which means it will refer to this 870 and I copy this formula down. So by copying this formula, what happened? 
g5 okay over g8 multiply oh yeah you see i have forgot to make this um, this 200 absolute as well so we have to make this absolute as well so we're going to make that yeah and uh, there you go so now if you copy this that's right you get so much okay now <clears throat> what this means is out of the 870 million the amount attributable to the investment account holder is 147.13 million for the equity is 6.9 for current account is 45.98 million okay now um, what we have, next thing is we are going to do is now that we have uh, this this distribution I'm going to put that here okay I'm going to put that here let me change this to this column here all right then uh, this is I'm just transposing this one okay don't worry about it yes okay fine okay so now what we are going to do now is to allocate the PER and IRR now we are told that the profit sharing ratio is 60 40 where the bank gets 40 percent the profit equalization reserve ratio is two percent and IRR is one percent so we start with this figure here I'm just going to say uh, you know instead of uh, let's paint it another color okay all right okay so 147.83 so the first thing you do is we are going to do the PER so PER okay so remember we must take uh, the amount from the um, the amount attributable to the uh, investment account holders huh? okay so I got something wrong there so in sorry this investment account holders is actually 147 equity is 6.9 and the current account is correct okay so what we have done actually is we have allocated the uh, 200 million into the various sources of funding so we have investment account holders 147 equity 6.9 current account 45.98 all right so the per remember the per is actually two percent two percent of the amount uh, attributable to the investment account holders which is 147.13 all right so all you have to do is take two percent of this figure here then you get the PER. okay again i think i have to do a little bit of rounding so we round it around the okay we'll round it to say uh, two feet two places of decimals okay so all right <clears throat> now mostly students make a common mistake they take this 200 million multiplied by 2%. You know, you should only take the amount attributable to the investment account holders, not the total income, all right? And the next step, and students forget to do this as well, you should actually deduct this figure. So you should get the, deduct the PER from the amount attributable to uh, the investment account. So you get one for nine nine uh, okay so i want to add a bottom order to make it clear all right so remember pr is deducted before the share of the bank all right next we deduct the share of the bank so share of the bank this is the mudarib share remember the bank is the mudarib here so we take 40 percent of the whatever is balanced after the per okay what's wrong there sorry so 40 percent times this figure here so 40 percent times this 14419 students sometimes take again they go back to this or they go back to this this is wrong 
it is 40% of the amount after the deduction of the PER. That is the share of the bank, okay? 40% of whatever remains after the PER, okay? So now you have the share of the bank, and the bank share, of course, goes to the equity. So we just put this here, equity, all right? Okay, uh, all right. Then what we are going to do is we are uh, going to get the net amount after this. So what I'm going to do is put a line here. So we are going to get a net amount after the deduction of the Mudarib share. So this will be 14419 minus the 57, get 86.154. So this is actually belongs to the investment account holders. But we still have one more thing to do, which is actually um, get the investment risk reserve. And here we are told it is 1%. So investment risk reserve, remember, is deducted after the share of the bank or the Mundarib share is deducted. So here we take 0 0.01, which is 1%, multiplied by whatever is left after the deduction of the bank share. That is 86.514. So you take 1% of this figure, not this figure or this figure or this figure. Students make crazy mistakes. You just keep on going. Huh? Take the balance, take the balance, take the balance. All right. And then finally, we this is the share of the Rabul Mal or the investment account holders. So what we do is we just deduct this amount from this amount. So we deduct the IRR from this figure, which is the figure after the deduction of the Mudarib share, this is the amount, okay, which uh, I'm going to round this up again, okay, um, 85.65 million, all right, so this is the amount going to investment account. So since this is the investment account holders column, all right, it stays there, all right, okay. Now, on current account, uh, okay, uh, current account, uh, we have given them 4598. So who actually belong? The current account, remember, under the Sharia contract of Wadiya or Khadr Hassan, the bank does not need to give them any amount, okay, other than Hiba if they want to give. That's on a voluntary basis. Let us say we add another uh, this thing we will give Hiba or Hadiya, okay, say 20% uh, of whatever they earn for the bank. All right, this bank is quite generous, huh? So we are going to give the current account holders 20%, although this is very voluntary, yeah? it's, a, it's, it's on a voluntary basis. So, <clears throat> what we are going to do is we are going to deduct the Hiba, so we are going to credit the IBA into the current account holders accounts. All right, so we are going to take 20% of that off and we get this 9.196 million. So remember, this is not under the share contract, but it is just a Hadiyah voluntary. Uh, so if the bank decides not to give, they won't give anything. So let's say in this case they have given, so now they have a balance of 36.78. 4 million. So let's round it again. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> so now this 36.78 million, who does it belong to? It belongs to the equity holders. All right. <coughs> okay. It belongs to equity holders. So it goes to the equity column. So equity on its own, from its own source of financing, it has earned 6.9 million. From being Mudarib, the bank has earned 57.676. And, uh, you know, from the current account, it has earned 36.78 million. So the total amount the um, equity or the bank has earned is actually, so we are going to add this, all these amounts. From its own source, from being as a Mudarib and from administering the current accounts, it is an 101.356. That's a lot, isn't it? You know, if you look at this amount, they only put 100 million, and in fact, only 30 million is invested. 
in 